You are a first-time podcaster. This is uh, Grounded with Louis Theroux. And presumably this was your idea. You just kind of thought, I, I'm going crazy here. I want to work. Well, like millions of others, when the, when the pandemic hit, all my plans had to change. So the conversation turned to, well, what can you do from your home? And we had this idea of interviewing people who I've always wanted to speak to, people with a profile, people who, who I think I'd have a good conversation with, and doing it down the internet and kind of comparing notes during this difficult time I think is a positive as well. Yeah. Um, now, John Ronson, that one's already gone out. Uh, who else do we have to look forward to? Uh, I just did an interview with a friend of yours who asked to be remembered to you, by the way, Helena Bonham Carter. Oh, she lovely. She said something about, are you still singing? Which she said you would understand. <laughs> it is true. She's very keen on my singing. She sent me a big bag of kind of witch's brew. <laughs> that I could make and then you drink it and you can sing. And I nearly drank it. And then I thought, I don't really trust her. Uh, well, that could Bellatrix be anything. Well, Bellatrix Lestrange uh, in her, one of her most famous incarnations. So she has wizarding powers. But I think this is interesting because is this the first time you've interviewed sort of your peers in a way? I, th I suppose, look, it's, a it's the first time I've ever done an interview that isn't in a real, location in the sense of it, it isn't part of a live encounter normally i either go into someone's home i stand up in the kitchen have a coffee we spend a couple of hours talking about this and that but all we're in motion doing something someone's doing their job on a porn set out in the wilds of idaho or in a hospital wherever it may be these are much more uh conversations in which the the, the star of the conversation is really just the chat a bit like dare I compare myself to you, Graham, what you do. Back off. <laughs> Look out. You, yeah, you get back to ranches and <laughs> I want you back in the field.